What's up my fabulous royal fans? Today's headline. Daniela Alsa claimed the Duke had not gone out of his way to remain the object of the Queen's favour. She also branded the couple's approach to the so-called Mexit process as all guns blazing. Ms. Alsa shared while there is a certain impressiveness to their vehemence and commitment to making their voices heard. I can't help but wonder if they would ultimately be able to achieve much more had they applied a modicum of strategy and patience to their new lives. Surely the savvier thing to do would have been to have opted for a more softly, soft-spoken, quiet approach, while the wounds from Megxit were still so fresh and so raw. What both Harry and Meghan seem to suffer from is an inability to take the long view and play the waiting game. Instead, the three plus years of official coupledom have been characterized by a certain hull for leather, all guns blazing approach. The writer referenced a bombshell biography about the couple finding freedom, which quoted a source close to the couple, claiming they can be impatient and impulsive. A source who worked with the couple told Vanity Fair how the Sussexes come up with the big ideas and expect them to come into force within days. They claimed that A's had to explain to the duchesses her big ideas would require time. The insider said, You can say what you want about Meghan, but she works incredibly hard. The problem is she and Harry have a tendency to hatch big projects over dinner and expect them to be actioned within days. Meghan had brilliant ideas, but was always in a hurry and aides had to sit down and explain that foundations and big projects take thought, time and commitment. They cannot be rushed. But now, as a result of their decision to step down from their royal duties, the couple face a one-year review. That could see Prince Harry stripped of his honorary military titles. The Duke of Sussex will reportedly fight to keep his military links, including Captain General of the Royal Marines. However, a palace source told The Telegraph, the Queen's attitude has not changed since the Sandringham Summit, when she warned Harry could not have a one-foot-in, one-foot-out outlook on being a senior royal. If Her Majesty decides to strip her grandson of his military appointments, it could possibly come as a blow to him. A friend of the Duke told the newspaper, his military work is one of the most important things to him. Of course, he wants to keep them. Bada bing, bada boom, guys. That's where we ended today. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. See you tomorrow. Goodbye for now.